All right. That'll do. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. My little buddy, safety inspector. Good boy, and you better live. You're a good boy. You're a very good boy. Yo, what's up, YouTube? So we're going to try and drill this thing. We've got a little Parkside step drill bit. We've marked it up here on the 22 because we don't want to go any more than 20. That's got an 8 mil hole there. And we're going to squirt some of this on it. And that's going to be that. Sweet, let's go. Oh no, I just moved straight away. Right, we're going to try again. Very little wind today. Is he barking at the grass because of the... Yeah, look, like he's freaking out because of the... What is it, chicken? Is it chicken? Keep going. No, it's when it moves across. You can see this bit of grass look, that's stuck. It was that, chicken. <laughs> Maybe it was a frog. I'll just get the tools. So I managed to get this lightly welded on. Uh, it seems as flat as it needs to be, so that's good. I didn't mess that up at all around the bit where the uh, thing is. So yeah, now the chain obviously needs to be longer. So I've got this older bit of chain, but I had soaked it in WD-40 a couple of weeks ago, so it's ready to go. This, I've decided I'm probably, probably not gonna put loads of weld on this because then you risk bending the sprocket itself. So I've got to sort the chain out. So I've cut the chain, fits nicely. I've got a bit of uh, slack to tighten up, but it should be good. Done quite a lot of work today. It's nearly ready to go up, I think. Just one more thing. I ended up hacking the wire up with my lawnmower, so I've got to fix that quickly. Just want to show you what I've done before it goes up. This has been uh, fortified, welding this extra one on. You can see now it's three collars deep. There's the new gear. And there's two collars, which between them should stop it moving backwards and forwards. And that's been fortified as well. So hopefully it's good to go. That's what the chain looks like. Tiny little bit of wobble on the blades, but nothing. Ah, actually I need to, before it goes up, I need to replace these crappy grub screws with better ones. So I've replaced the crappy nut with a decent one, bolt, sorry. And there's virtually no movement at all. So look at this one. Right, so I've got to do the same for that there. That's good, that's good. All right, let's give it a go, see what happens. I'm just gonna clamp that weight on the back because I'm sure that does help a little bit with uh, re reducing any wobble. Well, not much action at the moment, but there's hardly any wind at all, so we'll leave it a while and see what happens. Just so you know, that's what the meter's saying. <clears throat> it's connected to one 12-volt uh, battery at the minute, and we just need to see if we can uh, get some power in. Actually, it's not plugged into the correct meter, so let me sort that out. All right, that'll do. All right. Yeah, thank you very much.